Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing kind of like a vlog, but also kind of like a main themed video. It's not gonna be like a complete vlog because I am going to be showing you guys my hometown and kind of giving you like a tour and my memories. Someone actually suggested this video and I'm meeting up with my friend Ashley. I work with her and I'm gonna show her celebration because she's never been before. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you guys as well. If you are not already, please make sure you are subscribed just because it helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it and also follow me on Instagram. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get on with the tour. Okay, editing Alex here in the future, Alex. Um, I'm kind of just giving you like a drive-by tour of Celebration. Um, it's not actually like a full-on tour just because there were some parts where I was just like talking with my friend and it was just not like the right time to like vlog and it was really hard because I couldn't like See, anyway, you'll just see in the video, but don't go too hard on me, okay? Okay. This is our celebration sign. It's really funny because, I don't know, it's been known that, like, that used to be a fence, but someone, like, got drunk and drove into the pond. I know. And then that is the new 7-Eleven over there. And McDonald's, which is really cool. Over there, uh, to your left, is our pharmacy. It's one of those uh, good neighbor pharmacies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this blue house always has like so much stuff in front of it. And they still do. I love it. Obviously, there's um, really strict homeowner stuff, association, everything. Um, and it's just funny to see. They would just have to pay a lot of fees, I guess. We always, but that house has been there and been like that for as long as we've lived here. This is the street I grew up on. Gotta watch out for the kiddos here. Yeah, this is the type so. of neighborhood you wave. Appreciate yes. this. I didn't wave to them. My bad. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So, so this blue house uh, was a classmate of mine mm -hmm. over here. This house was a girl that I danced with. She was a little older than me. This house, um, his daughter, I don't know if they still live there, but um, his daughter went to my same high school. Over here, um, there's a guy that I went to school with. This is my house. Oh, right so, here? Yeah, the black and white one. Very cute. Yep. And then we had the pool and then garage apartment behind that. At least they got rid of that stroller, but yeah, that was that was our house. Our, our um, neighbors here, they moved. So this house, um, our neighbors moved, but they were so nice. They were um, just a couple that lived there. They had cute cats too. This was another classmate's house and I know that they recently moved, but yeah, he was in Boy Scouts. Over here is the community pool. So a lot of people have their own pools, but if you don't have a pool, you can just use this one. On the left here with this American flag, um, was a girl that I danced with and also went to school with. And then this blue house over here was one of my elementary school friends' house. And then if you keep going that way, you hit this place called Artisan Park. Oops, sorry, should turn on my turn signal. Um, and it's basically like a village, but it's called Artisan Park. And then they have their own like clubhouse. And I don't know, it's, it's just kind of like its own thing. Probably like Island Village will be because Island Village will have its own mini downtown and stuff and its own amenities. Okay, so on your right here, this is our Catholic church. So This is East Village, so these are all the super big homes that I always, when I was little, I always wanted to go around to do a survey and say, I'm doing a survey for school. What do you do for a living? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it always just like, Oh, the palm trees look a lot healthier than the last time I saw them. They were looking a little dry before, but they look really nice now. Not in the East Village. No. <laughs> no, but they look really nice now. I'm I'm impressed. Up here is the community pool, and it's basically so weird because it's like a circle, and like it's very tiny, and then they have their playground. So basically, all of these little villages, they have their own little miniature things, like playground, pool, I think South Village has the biggest pool. I don't know anything about North Village, but, and North Village is like on the way out, we'll pass by it, but it's kind of 
My parents never liked North Village for some reason. Yeah. So this is the Celebration K-8 school. We've made it downtown here. Um, so this is downtown Celebration. And I've done many videos down here showing you guys, but um, this is kind of just like a brief overview <laughs> of the town. There's just all sort of different kind of businesses here. We'll give you the nice view of the main street. We'll drive down here, down through here so you can see. Very vibrant. I love the colors here. Yeah, this does remind me of uh, a little bit of ballroom. Mm -hmm. Like yep. much more colorful. Like yep. That's a new place, actually. That's like a breakfast place. And then this is a town tavern. This is like the place that always just be hopping, you know, like with a bunch of people. Have an outdoor bar. Have an indoor bar. Everything like that. Oh. Okay. Then this is our hotel. It's called the Celebration Bohemian. It's pretty nice. So this is Lakeside and it just has basically like a pool, like a walking path. It's pretty much like just anyone in town from like all the villages can use it. And then we have our restaurants over here. And then this movie theater has been closed for so long. Mm -hmm. I know. It used to be an AMC. And then over here is the fountain like a lot of kids play there. Yeah. There's our ice cream shop. So. Oh. And cool. our Wolfgang Bakery for the dog lovers out there. That light macaroon has been there for a long time. I'm proud of it surviving. <laughs> a lot of these businesses, like this uh, sushi place, there has been numerous sushi places that have been in that location. And then here is where my parents decided to move to Celebration at this restaurant. It used to be outdoor seating, but then they put the the glass on there. They said, this is home. Yeah, they're like, we need to move here, so. We gonna do the ice cream? Yeah! Oh. I was gonna have, find a parking spot, actually. Upper crust. It's been there forever. I ate there. We went on a field trip for my um, first grade little class field trip and it was so fun. So the middle school's over there and then this is the elementary school. And the like mascot thing is um, a lion. And then each like room is called a pride. Like, like pride seven mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. So we're like, I get picked up, dropped off. Okay, so I just got home and now I want to show you guys what I got at Ulta because I needed some more makeup remover wipes. So I just got this special value twin pack of Neutrogena wipes and I like them all right. I feel like they make my skin more oily, but I wash my face after I use them. So it should be fine. And then I got this cute satin headband. It's called the Satin Headband by Kitsch. It looks like this, and if I can, I will link this down below. But it's like a satin head thing, and as you guys know, I talked about in my last video how hard, like, not getting your hairline wet is when you're taking and cleaning your face off. So I decided, I'm like, you know what, Ulta should have something. So basically, you put your hair through this hole, and then you put this, like, around your head, so it keeps everything back and it's supposed to like not get your hairline wet. At least not as like crazy wet as I have been getting my hair wet when I take off my makeup. If not, I'll just keep using my shower cap. But this was just a fun thing that I kind of wanted to try out. So I will show you guys. Tonight we are having 
Hooters wings and hopefully I will remember to vlog. But now I'm going to cut up the vegetables that we like to eat with them. And then maybe later on before we eat, I will go ahead and try this out like by taking off my makeup and stuff just because I wanna put this thing to the ultimate test. Say hi to the vlog, Valerie. That scared me. Hello. We're gonna get ready to cut up the vegetables. We are, we're gonna have also guys, before we get started cutting the vegetables, I got ice cream on my boo beer. So sad. Okay, let's get back to the time lapse here. We had ice cream today. Good. At Killens. Yes. It was yummy. shall see how it goes. So first things first, I probably should put my hair in a ponytail. Just it'll be easy to loop my hair through the little headband. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> this, I don't know if I'm even doing this right. Does this look right? I don't think this is right. Let me look at the picture again. Okay, maybe you don't put your hair in this thing. Oh, that's probably why I had it a little messed up. Still a little odd. One eternity later. Let's just hope this like works a little bit. Um, I don't know. I'll probably still use my shower cap cause just because it's easier to like put on, but I just wanted to try this out. I was already there to get makeup remover wipes, so. Okay, so overall I give this a pretty good rating. Like, I think it did a really good job. I thought it was gonna fall off because my ears stick out a lot, but overall this thing held up really well. I'm just kind of surprised about how good this product is. It got a little wet on the outside, but it kept everything else dry, like pretty much. So A plus to this thing. All right, so our dinner is served. We got the wings here, my wings, and our veggies over there. 